Hi, everyone. So I was coming out here to harvest on my artichokes, and I thought I would take you along with me. But it made me think about why I had originally planted these artichokes. So in 2020, when the world went crazy, and um, sorry, I'm out front, and there's a car about to drive by. But when everything was kind of crazy in the world, it really made me want to focus on perennials in my garden. Now, I'm not a huge, I, lo I love artichokes, but they're really hard to, they can be a pain to get cooked up and stuff. But I've found that they're super important to add into my garden because there's not many things that you can grow in your garden that you can, that come back by themselves year after year, so that, that are perennial. And these guys, where I grow, it can be pretty hard to grow. I'm in growing zone 9A and it gets hot, I'm in the desert. And some things don't do well. But these artichokes do great for me. Um, I'm harvesting in April because when you read online, you'll see like harvesting in like August, things like that, but that's not how it works in my area. So I'm glad I planted them for multiple reasons. One being that I wanted to um, understand the growing because where I grow, things are different. So not only was it important for me to have a source of food, but also understanding, understand the growing on it. So for me, um, when the heat hits, I'll actually cut, I think there's a big truck coming by. I um, will actually cut this guy down to the ground and I'll take you along for that as well. But um, I'll actually cut this guy down to the ground and during the um, fall is when it starts pushing new growth again. And I harvest, as you can see, I've done, um, I've harvested a couple times. Where is it at? You can see here. But it's time to harvest again. So um, this plant itself, it's actually completely covered in between flies, aphids, and ladybugs. So I didn't realize how much ladybugs actually really like, there's a guy right there, really like this plant. So, um, Normally, I would rinse this plant down really good. Sorry, I got out of the frame there. Rinse this plant down really good and um, trim up the bottom leaves. But I haven't done that because of the ladybug population that's just thriving over here right now. So, but I can get the um, artichokes actually harvested. So, I want to show you if you harvest these guys too early, they're actually going to be super, super tough. So, there's a couple on here that are perfect. So, let me go ahead and show you guys that. So first, look how cute these little baby bugs are. Oh, and then you'll see like on this artichoke right there, that's a pupa. So that's a baby ladybug. And this guy is just about to turn in. This is the larvae. This guy's about to turn into a pupa. He's sitting there. He'll um he'll look like this here in a short while. We'll focus. But that's not the point of this video. What I want to show you is you see this artichoke? You see how these are starting to pry apart here? They're naturally just splitting or opening. That's the perfect time to harvest these artichokes. So when they are tight, um, it does put off multiple ones here. So this one is also ready. But when they are tight, like this guy, still too young. This guy's too early to harvest. Actually, this guy's a better one to... Oh, look it! Where'd he go? Oh. Lost them. So this guy right here, it's a little early to harvest. I'd give that guy a couple more days. You want him open a little bit more. So these are actually the seven spotted uh, ladybugs. I know people get really nervous with ladybugs because they're worried about the over ladybugs. But these guys are not. These guys are native to my area. So let's go ahead and get this guy, a couple of these guys harvested. So when you go down to harvest this guy, you'll see here, you're going to want to go down. I kind of go down to a leaf and harvest it. So there's just a leaf right here because as you can see, let me get the camera. As you can see, there's a leaf right there. Oh, come on, focus. Leaf right there is where I cut, but you get a bunch of offshoots. So this guy, you follow him up. 
has an artichoke. So this same thing, you follow it up, there's the main, but that guy is an artichoke coming off there. So you wanna try to just cut at a leaf. And you also, like I said, you wanna make sure that they're nice and starting to open. This guy's a better example. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish harvesting these guys. Um, but yeah, just something to consider if you are working on a vegetable garden or you know trying to be more sustainable, add things in that are um, perennial, such as the artichoke. This is a globe artichoke. Um, the other thing I have is strawberries. Those do, um, I found a variety that actually does really good for me. I do have a video on that um, if you go through my playlist. Um, maybe I'll put it up one, one of the sides. Who knows that side? Um, but yeah, uh, strawberries. And then, um, what else I do? Oh, asparagus. So asparagus was one I wasn't sure if it was gonna do good for me and maybe I'll do a video on that in the future. Um, but yeah, and if I haven't mentioned before, I'm in zone 9A, sorry, car going by. We just got upgraded from a 9B, or I'm sorry, an 8B to a 9A. So, and we are in the low desert. It is super dry. It gets hot here um, during the summer times. So yeah, just something to consider. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and take care.